putting about uh, three bars of air pressure in the, in the cylinder and then what we get in this setting is about 500 IPS uh, at top when I go the first uh, motion. Here what you see is uh, what is happening internally in the, in the mouth. So the G402 is based on the concept of putting two sensors together. One of them is the optical sensor. The normal optical sensor here is represented by the blue line. As you can see, when they go very fast, something happens here. So what happens is that the optical mouse works like a middle camera. It takes pictures and then tries to overlap them and uh, to see the overlap, basically, and then correlate the, the, the image. If you go too fast, the images either overlap very little or don't overlap at all. So here you can see when you go very fast, at some point the optical sensor gets lost and just reports garbage. This is what happens uh, in, with the experience of the user uh, when you are moving and the cursor doesn't follow your, your movement. We call it sometimes negative acceleration. So in, in this mouse, the concept is to detect this uh, event and then switch to the accelerometer and gyroscope. So we can continue to track without interruption. And then when the optical sensor recovers, we go back to the optical mode. So um, we continue to track at low speed. So we have two devices. One of them is optimized for, for high speed. This is the accelerometer and gyroscope part. And the other one, very good at low speed, the optical part, and they together work and uh, produce uh, this mouse that uh, we claim to be the fastest mouse in the world. So, <coughs> with this setup, we could uh, verify and validate our device up to a speed of exceeding 500 IPS. That is about 12.5, nearly 13 meter per second. However, the, 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 the ceiling in terms of the device is actually higher than that. As I told you, the, the problem is really, it's hard to generate that kind of movement in a controlled way. So we are actually a little bit limited by, by this setup. This can go a little bit faster with more air pressure, but then it will start to vibrate. Uh, in any case, we could uh, demonstrate that the mouse works uh, uh, exceeding that speed and also with this special head that you can see, we can put the mouse in any orientation. So we could validate it in, uh, in all 360 degrees of uh, rotation. There is another kind of validation that you, so you can easily imagine how to do it with this setup. You saw with the um, Turntable, the, the test about uh, drift, that you point at some place, move and come back. You can do it with this setup because it starts at a certain point and returns to the same place. So you have large motion and then you come back. And you can see at the end, does the cursor come back to the same position or not? Or what is actually the error? You can measure the error and 